Alrighty, everybody, welcome once again to another episode of Adam, your dog trainer. If this is your first time watching, please go ahead, hit that little subscribe icon right there. Let us know how you feel about this video in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like and share. Today, we're going to talk about how to help your dog overcome fear. All right, so hold tight. We're going to get going right now. See you on the other side. Alrighty, so let's talk about fear. Fear in dogs is quite a very common issue. You have a lot of dogs that get fear anxiety and pet parents feel they need to compensate that with cuddling. Cuddling being it's okay, don't, you know, you're fine, you're safe. But what you're ultimately doing is not turning off your phone like I always tend to do. So what you're ultimately doing is you're encouraging that behavior. Remember, dogs do not have human emotions. So when you're dealing with human emotions with animals, it comes across totally different. So today we want to talk about some simple ways you can help your dog overcome fear. So step number one, numero uno. Step number one is very simple. Take your dog for walks. Get that energy out of their body. Energy is what kind of gets the dog all encompassing, kind of creates that world. All right. So if you have good energy or bad energy, it's still energy in a dog. They don't know the difference. So take your dog for walks. Take your dog to the dog park. Take your dog anywhere to get them in that positive frame of mind. Two, numero dos. So once you go ahead and you have them in that frame of mind where they're in a positive state or otherwise known as in the dog world, a positive attitude, you're able to then start training. Now what I mean by start training isn't like sit, stay, down, stay, not none of that. This is more along the lines of challenging your dog to overcome things. Challenge your dog to jump up on a, uh, a bench at a dog park. Challenge your dog to uh, go through a door. Challenge your dog in a way they've never been challenged before. Teach them how to think, which happens to be number three. Uno, dos, tres. Tres. So if we're challenging our dogs mentally and we're working them physically, the one thing you have to turn down is the emotional. Take the emotion out of the equation. Most pet parents add the emotion and they add too much of the emotion. And that emotion is what leads to a bigger issue down the line. Hopefully that makes sense. Most importantly, you want to socialize your dog very well so they can learn from other dogs. And that happens to be number Four, all right. So number four is socialize your dog well. Now, be cautious. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that because if you're socializing your dog and they have a fear of other dogs, probably not a good idea. But when your dog has a fear of being alone or a fear of loud noises or a fear of any other thing other than a dog, let other dogs teach them. All right. Now, my name is Adam. I will see you guys next time. Just a quick reminder, you can join our Facebook group, Adam on YouTube. Um, it's Adam, your dog trainer on YouTube. And on top of that, you can actually come follow our classes at Adam, your dog trainer and company. Alrighty, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget, don't miss the live chats every Tuesday, Eastern Standard Time right here. Also, please go ahead, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the other side.